Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Should I say, hi MTV, welcome to my crib. watch MTV Cribs when you were younger, I swear. It was my brother, my sister and I's favourite show ever. Unfortunately, my crib isn't quite as well as the houses on that programme. However, one day it will be. I'm manifesting it for us all. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to my home. I have been promising you this video for the longest time ever. There's a few reasons I didn't film it. I think like number one, I moved in here like nearly a year ago now. Can you believe I've been living here nearly a year? It's crazy. And when I moved in, I didn't even have a knife and fork, a plate. I had no furniture whatsoever. So it's basically taken me until now to feel like I have enough stuff and furniture and things to show you guys. And to be honest, if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that my apartment is 90% of the time a bit of a mess. <laughs> so this video is gonna be a complete lie. It's how my flat should look all of the time, but actually it's usually covered in clothes. I have tied it up for you guys. So those are the two reasons it took me so long to film, but we're here now, so welcome to my house. Now, I am filming this video on my own, and I'd just like to say I feel like it's going to be quite a hard thing to do. I wish I had someone to kind of pan round with me, but unfortunately I don't. So do not judge me on my filming skills. Everyone, welcome to my living room. This is the area in my apartment which I spend most of my time. By the way, just a little bit of backstory. I live in southwest London and this apartment is rented, and I've been here nearly a year now. This is my first home. And I have to say I love it very much. I don't really know how much longer I'm going to be here, but I really do love it. And I actually have found that I really love renting as well. I feel like it's super flexible and it's really easy then to move on to somewhere else once you're bored of an area or something like that. But anyway, this is my living room and the biggest piece of furniture I own is this. This is my sofa. As you can see, it's huge. This is me sat on it and look how much room there still is. It's so big. So I actually got this from Ikea. A lot of my furniture is from them. As I say, when I moved in, I had absolutely nothing. And Ikea is always a great place to start. Also really affordable. So this is actually one of their three seater sofas to here. And then when I got the place, I actually realized that this wasn't really big enough. So I ended up adding this separate chaise long, which is a great thing with Ikea furniture. It's all modular, so you can kind of add pieces, take pieces away. I also feel like it's really great, especially if you rent, because when you move to new places, you don't know what the shape of the living room is gonna be like. And with these sofas, you can turn them into corner sofas, you can buy extra pieces, you can get rid of pieces. And you know what? For the price and everything else, the quality is great, and I love it. I also love the fact that I can bring the buffet from that end down to this end. You can put your feet up, and it is the greatest place with a duvet to snuggle and watch the TV. I love my sofa very much and you guys always ask me questions about it. So then if I pan round from my sofa, I can then show you the other side of my apartment, which I absolutely love. And I don't really feel like you guys see it so much over here, but this chair is actually from Ikea. So it matches my sofa entirely. It's the same color. It was a nightmare to put together, but we got there in the end and I have to say, it looks very nice. I'm gonna tell you about this faux fur throw, oh my goodness, and this pillow and also my lamp. And then the things I've used to dress this chair are actually all from one of my absolute favorite homeware brands, Arigi Bianchi. It was actually my mum that introduced me to them. She went to their store and she bought the most incredible Christmas decorations that go on the tree every single year. So when I'm home this Christmas, I will show you them because they are beautiful. And we're just both obsessed with the homeware brand. So this pillow is from them and I love this because it ties in with all the other black accents in my room. So it's like an abstract hand and face. It's just something quite different and I really loved it. And I also love the fact that the cushion inside is feathers, so it's all nice and crunchy. Then this blanket, guys, honestly, if you're gonna buy yourself anything for Christmas, buy this. It is unbelievable. When I come in and I'm all cold, I sit on my chaise long, that sounds so bougie, but I sit on my chaise long part of my sofa. I put this over me and I just snuggle into it. It's so heavy, it literally sends you to sleep. 
It is the softest faux fur ever, and this is also from Arigi Bianchi. They do everything from soft furnishings to mirrors, accessories, lighting. I'll show you this light in a minute because that's also from them. I actually have lots of pieces from Arigi Bianchi dotted all around my apartment, so I'll show you as we go along. But it is genuinely one of my absolute favorite homeware brands, and I feel like it's one not everyone knows about so i will definitely leave a link down below so you guys can go and check them out because if you're into homeware like me which i'm guessing you are if you're watching this video then i really think you'll love what they do and the quality of everything is so good and it's also really affordable prices but anyway this blanket you all need it trust me on that one then over the top of my armchair i have this lamp so as i say it is also from a Riggy bianchi I loved this, like the cushion, it's just something so different and I love how the black ties in with the black on my cushion. I'll also show you how it ties in with everything on my coffee table, it ties in with my bar stools and I just love this black accent. Also I love the fact that you can move it, so how good is that, especially for reading and things and looks great over the top of an armchair. In my apartment all of the lights are down lighters which is great because it's nice and bright but in the evening times it's way too bright, so I love to turn all of those off turn this lamp on and I just feel like it's a really great touch to this corner and do you know what it's one of those things that when anyone comes into my apartment they always mention this lamp and say how cool it is and I agree I think it's very cool and very different now onto my coffee table which honestly I get so many questions about so I actually got this from Danelle Mill I'll show you the other side as well as there's drawers in it and it was so reasonably priced I believe I'm right in saying it is real wood and then obviously it's got this black accent it's got a glass top which I love because it means you can dress the top of it but you can also put books and things underneath and I love my stuff as you can see so there's more room for more stuff <laughs> then I'll talk you through everything on top of my coffee table starting off first of all with these tripod hurricane candles which are actually from a Riggy Bianchi I love them so much they kind of add a little bit of height to my room and they also tie in so well with the black on my coffee table and then in a minute I'll show you that my TV stand is also black but I just think they're so effective they'd look so nice on a table display like a christmas table display as well the candles inside i actually just picked up from sainsbury's but you have to let me know what you guys think of these candles because i love them i do often switch them out for a bouquet of flowers sometimes i have a vase on this table instead but these are always my go-to because i love that the base of them isn't too bulky obviously it's a tripod so then you can see all my books through the glass so let me just quickly talk you through the bits and bobs on here so this plate just here is actually from H&M Home both this diffuser and this candle is from Cochin and my other candle is Neom which I love both of those brands underneath we have a book from Prada which is actually from Amazon candles another book from Amazon that is Dior over there we have another Dior coffee table book which is actually my favorite one my friend Shardine bought me that when I moved in these over here are Chanel books but they are actually just the books that they send you when you're part of their kind of like mailing list when you shop with them but they're too nice to throw away look at them they're like actual proper books so I just stack them on my coffee table these are like crystal placemats they're like the anthropology ones but once again I got them from Amazon and they were super inexpensive then over here this candle tray my mum actually got me for Christmas last year I believe it's from next and it's mirrored all of these candles are from the waxery this is a little pot of sand from Ibiza then we have my room spray which is actually a perfume really bougie thing to do but basically I bought Santel 33 because I thought it smelled amazing I wore it and no one told me I smelt nice, so I started just using it for my living room instead, which is such a waste of perfume, but it smells so nice. Then we have this big candle that my mum got me, I'm unsure where that's from actually. We've got a candle cover from the Countryside Edit and a neon candle that needs chucking away. We also have a pot of Werther's Originals because, you know, I'm old before my time, I love a Werther's Original. Then my rug. This rug I also get so many questions on. It's huge. It stretches almost the length of my sofa and what I love about it is the texture of it. And as you can see it changes texture from dots to plaits. And then onto dots again. So this is actually from Ikea. The only thing I hate about this rug, guys, is it molts. And it doesn't matter how much I vacuum, it's going to molt all over my floor. So that is one downside to it. However, I do absolutely love the texture of it. 
Then over in this corner, which is a corner you guys see all of the time, we have a bouquet of dried flowers, which are actually from Mud Flowers. The vase they're in are from Neptune. We then have a little bouquet of flowers from the Countryside Edit, and the vase is from them too. We have an empty Celine carrier bag, basically just for aesthetics. The table is from Danelle Mill, as you can tell. It matches my coffee table pretty well which I like and then if I pan back round we have a beautiful piece of artwork and actually the only bit of artwork I have in my apartment right now and it's from a really talented artist called Isabel Grace Fuller and she actually custom made it for this wall in my living room so that's why it fits perfectly but look at the texture of it it's so nice and I just feel like it fits this room so so well and honestly this wall looks so bare before and I feel like it really just finishes it all off so nicely then my cushions are from a mixture of places so all of these here H&M home this one here the countryside edit all of these H&M home actually the rest of them are you know I love H&M home super affordable and they do some really gorgeous like boho chic pieces over here we have this mirrored tray which often has like candles or even my laptop on it or something like that this is also from my favorites at Arigi Bianchi and I love this it's just really aesthetically pleasing we then have a blanket here which you know I cannot remember for the life of me where I got this from but I will link it down below and then we have this cashmere throat from Everlane and then over the other side of my living room we have the same cashmere throw these are so so nice and then this throw here is from Zara as you can tell I love throws then this is my living room from this angle and you guys have seen this plant so many times before I actually got it for my birthday from my friends in April and I cannot believe he's still alive and you know what? he's actually doing really well it is the most beautiful green plant ever I believe I'm right in saying it's an elephant palm plant don't quote me on that but you know what it's so easy to keep alive because if I can keep it alive trust me it's easy <laughs> then we have a book here from Chanel we have a tissue box, which I picked up from H&M Home. A little Celine carrier bag here for the aesthetics. We have a, another throw, which is also from H&M Home. And then this basket is from Fortnum & Mason. Makes me laugh though. Do you know how many people have said to me, who is M? Thinking that M is a man's name, because obviously it says F at the beginning. And it's actually Fortnum & Mason, which my mum gave me because she gets one every year with her Christmas hamper. And they're just really handy and actually really nice too. Over here we have my Christmas advent calendars ready for Christmas. Then if we pan round again, we finally get to my TV unit, which by the way, when I moved in, I hated this. But it was really inexpensive. It was from Ikea and so I just went with it. So it's a black TV unit. I felt like it tied in with the other black accents in my room. I then dressed it with those standard books that everyone has. These were actually gifts for my birthday. But they actually look really, really nice. So these are from Amazon. The baskets are also from Ikea. And do you know what? I actually don't mind it nowadays. I actually think it looks quite nice. Next to it we have this really big vase which is from Ikea as well and inside we have pampas grass but guys pampas grass let me tell you it is the worst thing ever because it molts so bad I've hairsprayed it a million times and it still molts all over my apartment I feel like getting rid of it because it just creates so much kind of like dust but it does look really nice. So moving from my living area over to my kitchen area, that gives you a little bit of an idea of the layout. This is also my office area. As you can see, my computer is here and has been since I did my bedroom switch around. So this used to be in my dressing room, but it's ended up being here because there's not enough room in either of my dressing room or my bedroom anymore. But you know what? Even though it's not really the best place for a computer, obviously if you're eating, it's a bit annoying, but it's actually really nice sitting here in the daytime and I prefer sitting here than sitting in my bedroom. So this is where I do all my editing of my vlogs and all my admin and things. Then you have this kind of breakfast bar area and these stools are actually from Danelle. So I actually saw some really similar when I was furniture hunting but they were hundreds of pounds. So I spent the day on Google and found these on Danelle for a fraction of the price. By the way, if you've seen that fluff on the floor and you think I'm dirty, it's the pampas grass. As I said to you guys, it molts everywhere is so annoying i can honestly hoover 20 times a day and the floor is still gonna look like that anyway this marble counter is so beautiful it's got this waterfall side to it the veins in this marble are so nice marble is really hard to care for though but as i've said a lot of times before in my vlogs i'm not the biggest cook in the world so i don't personally find it that hard to care for because i don't actually do much on it other than sit in my computer. So I'll bring you over to the kitchen area. There is a combination microwave oven and then a regular oven. I have my tea section over here and my vitamins. By the way, the tea 
cabinet is from Amazon. I had to think about that. Then we have a board here which is from H&M. I'm going to skip the sink because there's actually washing up in it, which we're going to pretend is not there. I've got my hand cream and soap from Aesop, very aesthetically pleasing, literally just doing it for the gram. No, it honestly smells so nice as well. Then the vases are from the Countryside Edit as well as the bunny tails inside. Then we have my new grind coffee machine, which I'm absolutely loving, and my decaf coffee pods because you guys know I only drink decaf. Then we have my salt and pepper pots, which actually have no pepper in because fun fact about me I hate pepper does anyone else just have one of these random bowls in their house just full of crap like I don't even know what's in here this bowl often gets this high just full of stuff but it doesn't matter what I do it's always full but this is my kitchen area my office and then if we pan round also my living area too so yeah this is my main room of my house and everything in it now let's go to my bedroom. Yeah. Now welcome to my bedroom and as they say on cribs, where the magic happens. No, I'm joking, sorry mom and dad if you're watching this, that doesn't happen in here. All I do is sleep, okay? All I do is sleep. So this is my bed, which I love. However, I wish so much I'd got a king size bed. The reason I got a double is I didn't think a king would fit in the room, but as you can see, I have plenty of room. So this bed I actually got from Bedworld. I ordered it on a whim. I typed into Google linen headboard or like linen bed sort of thing. And it came up with this company called Bedworld. And I ordered it because it was super inexpensive and it's so nice. It looks expensive. It arrived really quickly. And yeah, I fully, fully rate that company. Then my bed sheets are all from Dusk. The waffle throw and also the waffle pillows are from Dusk as well. Then this pillow here is from H and home and then these two are from Laura Ashley my pillowcases are silk these are either from Lily silk or slip silk I can't remember which ones and um, but yeah always sleep on silk pillowcases that's why they look a little bit creased um, but so so good once you sleep on silk you can never look back my lamps are from Zara home I actually have over here one of the neon diffuser things which I use at night time I have this sleep spray by the way these marks on the walls were here when I moved in that's the thing with rented places I really wish my landlord would repaint but he won't then my bedside tables I also bought on a whim from a place called objects which literally had no trust pilot reviews but I bought them and they are beautiful I've shown you these a few times before but they're real wood they were really good value for money and they just look so nice, kind of give you like Scandinavian vibes. Then this mirror is from my faves at Arihi Bianchi. I wish I could put this up, but you're not allowed to drill holes in the wall unless I fill them in when I leave. And I felt like it was a lot of effort. And actually, I quite like how this mirror looks because it reflects my bed. So when I'm lying in bed in the morning, it reflects my bed, but it also reflects the sunlight coming in from the window here. So I actually quite like it on the floor. It's actually a really beautiful mirror. And as I say, that's from a Riggy Bianchi. Then my rug, which I'm standing on currently, is from Ikea. And it's so, so nice and fluffy. I actually bought this because, kind of a sad thing really, but the carpet underneath is really stained and I'm covering it with this rug. Once again, the stains were here when I moved in and um, my landlord won't change it which is great my curtains are the same as the ones in the living room i'll come a little bit closer so this is like something that i wouldn't pick myself however they are really nice quality but they're gray um and i'd prefer them to be like a more neutral color so these were obviously here when i moved in as well as these curtains that are on all of the windows it stops the neighbors from looking in and you know what i actually love these sheer curtains i think they're so nice then the other side of my bed we have a plate full of just kind of like night stuff um i have a few silk hairbands i have my eye mask which i often wear from struggling to sleep a hair clip we have the same lamp we have a hurricane candle which has got no candle in it that was from the countryside edit and then the same bedside tables as the other side so this is my bedroom from this side of the room so i'm sure you guys remember but this used to be my dressing room and then i switched it out and now my dressing room is the bigger bedroom, which used to be my actual bedroom. That is very confusing. I want to just say though, guys, one of my favorite things about my apartment is the fact that every single room has aircon. This is an air conditioning unit and in the summertime, unbelievable. I have that in both bedrooms and in the living room and it makes me want to put it in my future house. Beep. 
Now onto the guest bathroom, which honestly, both the bathrooms in here are like a hotel. Here I am in the mirror. By the way, both of these mirrors, this one, which is very big, and this one are both covered, which is really good because extra storage room. There is so much storage in this flat, like honestly. Everywhere is full to the brim, I might add, but there is so many cupboards and things, which is super, super handy. This bathroom is kind of like two tones. So you've got some of it, this like creamy marble, and then the rest of it is this chocolate brown marble. By the way, look how amazing that panel of marble is behind the shower area. So nice. So the shower head is really big. I actually never, ever, ever shower in here, nor do I ever bath in this bath, mainly because it's so deep, it takes so long to fill. And also, I feel like so claustrophobic when I'm in it. Anyway, I have this tray that's basically just for show. It's just got um, bath bits and bobs on it. I then have my Byredo. I don't think that's how you say that brand. I don't know. Soap and hand cream that my friends got me. We have a little faux plant up here. By the way, I love these shelves. I think they're so effective. I'm definitely going to have them in my future bathroom. That's for sure. They're really good for storing products. And they just look really nice too. Then over here is basically just a mess um this trolley and these boxes which i'm not going to show you too much basically just full of products that i use but don't use that much if that makes sense um yeah it's a lot we're just going to ignore that but yeah this is the guest bathroom um i use this bathroom to fake tanning and things here's the toilet um really lovely you know it's also super big as well for a bathroom like there's loads of space in here i will also show you my one of course And this is the ensuite bathroom, which this marble, guys, look at it. It's so amazing. Like, the other one looks like a hotel. I mean, the other bathroom, but this one does as well. It's so nice. Um, so this is the bathroom I use the most. It is the one that used to be attached to my bedroom. And it's where I shower and things like that. So this is the sink area. Look at this block of marble on the sink. So nice. Um, have a little diffuser there from H&M Home, which literally smells like nothing, so none of you buy it. Um, I have a jar over there full of cotton wool pads that I use in the evenings. A stop hand soap, and this is usually full of um, flannels, but they're currently all in the wash. But, but yeah, this is usually full so I can dry my face with a clean flannel every night. Then both these mirrors, once again, are cupboards, which is great. Sorry, I should have like moved my dressing gown and pyjamas, but... You know, this is how it usually looks. And then this is the shower. As you can see, another huge shower head. Although, like I've said to you guys so many times before, it's so unpowerful. And then we have another one of those shelves, which I love, have all my products on it. And also, the shower has these side jets. So you can turn these on and it turns into, well, like a really kind of lovely experience because the water comes out of here too which is great overall though i love this bathroom it's my favorite i love the marble although the only thing i would say is marble and lime scale can sometimes be a bit of an issue marble's kind of really hard to care for don't know what i'm doing with my arms in this Welcome to my dressing room and this room is what I like to call organized chaos. It is such a mess, I swear. This room, I could clean it eight times a day, what I basically do, and it still ends up being a mess. But you know what, this is a room I am so proud I have. When I was younger, all I ever wanted was a dressing room. I'd always say to my mom, like, one day I'm going to have a room full of all of my clothes and... Here we are, and I'm so, so grateful for it that I'm able to have this room with all of my things in it. However, it's not how I'd like it to be. If I owned this place and eventually when I do buy a house and have my own space, I will 1000% be building my dream wardrobe and have all like built in units and just so it kind of works better and you can utilize the space. In here, the space is not very well utilized because it's all kind of makeshift with rails and shelving units as you'll see in a minute. But as I say, I never want to complain about it because it's my happy space and it's something I am so proud of. Now, welcome to Narnia. <laughs> this is the room that is just full of all of my clothes, my makeup, my accessories and everything else. This is an organized mess. That's what I like to call it anyway. So first up over here, we have like, as I say, it's an organised mess, but I don't really know what we have. We have, like, kind of newer jackets, 
um, and coats and jumpers and things over there. We then have all of my knitwear and then this rail goes right back to the wall. They kind of overlap each other which is really annoying but I have a bit of a space issue. Um, so yeah, then we have all of my knitwear and things. I have tried to colour coordinate um, but it does sometimes get a little bit messed up. Then we have all of my shoes underneath so just like the shoes that i wear on a daily basis all of my boots we've got some heels down there as well then moving from this rail over to this huge rail which actually has most of my coats on would you believe i still have some at my mum and dad's but this is the majority of my coats there are a lot i have to say i am obsessed with coats if you can't already tell and then underneath we have more shoes then over this side of the room is my dressing table now this is from my parents house i have had this for absolutely years and this was my dressing table and then it was my desk and now it's back to being my dressing table this is from ikea um it's not the prettiest dressing table of all time and it's actually got like some glue stains on it which is kind of gross there which i can get off but it's really hard to get off and it's where i stick on my fake eyelashes but you know bit of realness for you guys this is also usually covered in makeup it's never this tidy but we're gonna pretend for the video then we've got all my makeup in these drawers which are actually from muji is that what it's called muji or something like that this chair is the ugliest chair in the world it was actually my sister's honestly i've had it for so many years i actually have this cushion on it because it's so uncomfortable and i keep thinking like i'm gonna buy a new dressing table chair and i just don't get around to it and i just feel like as this room is so makeshift anyway i've just kind of just not bothered spending any major money on it. So the ugly chair is just, is just here to stay. Then over this side of the room, you can see I have my dried flowers at the end of the dressing table. We have this Ikea shelving unit, which has got all of my trainers in and then stretches up to the top with my bags and things. And then we have my new rail. So this rail over here is the rail that you guys will have seen so many times in my videos. And it's all of like my new enclosed. So things I either need to shoot, things I received this week, or, you know, just new stuff so it doesn't get mixed in with all of my old things. So all of these things you'll be seeing over on my Instagram in the next probably couple of weeks. And then in here is another one of the built-in wardrobes. They actually are sliding though, unlike the other ones. Once again, with a light and they're a mess, pretty much. This one is just full of all of my jeans and things like that. So yeah. That is my dressing room. So that was officially my first ever apartment tour in my first ever apartment. <laughs> I hope so much you guys have enjoyed this video. Everything I featured will be linked down below so you can go and shop it from there. I hope that maybe you found out about a few furniture brands you didn't know about before or you've seen something you like. But either way, I just hope you've enjoyed watching. I have to say, I am very proud of myself for living here. I feel like my younger self would never believe that I was living in London and I think she'd be very proud. I think sometimes it's really easy to get lost in the moment and not see how far you've come. And although I am only renting, it's a big thing renting and it's actually half the time a lot more expensive than it is to have a mortgage. <laughs> so everyone should be proud of yourselves, whether you've bought your home or you're renting. But yeah. I love it here and I just want to say a huge thank you for all of your support and I hopefully will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves guys. Bye bye.